Hello and welcome, my name's Paul McIntyre and I'm one of the instructors with the National Driving Centre. We're here with another video. Uh, this time we're going to be talking through the DVSA C plus E reversing exercise. With me today is another one of our uh, C plus E instructors, Keith Whitewood. We're doing this video, we're trying to get across the difference between doing the reverse you can already do, the cat C, the rigid vehicle, and now we want to do that C plus E, putting that bend in the trailer. See if we can just help you out of it a little bit. So let's get to it then. Okay, so now we're going to talk through the C plus E reverse. Before we go outside and do this practically, I just want to do some bits in the classroom. There's a little bits of techniques and little bits of guides that I want to just show you through this um, that's going to help outside. Um, you'll see a lot of people go straight outside with this, but I just want to talk through some of the techniques and some of the practical things we're going to be doing outside. So first of all, when we're driving that um, Arctic, and especially when we're reversing it, um, there's going to be little terms that we're going to be using and little hints and tips we're going to, we're going to have. So first of all, um, let's imagine we're maybe reversing a left-hand corner or a right-hand corner. If ever we think, Right, now I want to get this vehicle straight. So we're talking about our tractor and trailer, getting this angle straight. If ever you're thinking, right, that's enough angle, that, or that's enough turning, how do I get this vehicle straight? As you're sitting in the vehicle, as we look in the left-hand mirror, we can see a lot of trailer. As we look in the right-hand mirror, we can see no trailer. So we're going to steer into the trailer, steer into the mirror that has more trailer in it. So we're going to steer left. That's going to cause that angle to come off and everything will then straighten up. On the same way that if we were bending right and we want to remove that angle, there's more trailer in the right mirror than the left mirror. So we're going to steer right and that's going to cause everything to straighten up. This is such a good guide when we're getting into the bay. Okay. When we talk about putting an angle on, like we mean that angle on the fifth wheel. So as you can see, everything's in a straight line now. If ever we're thinking right now, I want to steer that trailer, don't think the tractor unit wheels steer the trailer. No, it's the fifth wheel that steers that trailer. So when we say put an angle on, we're putting an angle on that tractor fifth wheel, okay? So remembering these little guides, let's talk about this reversing exercise. So here we can see the reversing bay. Now the examiner is going to show you this in a, in a pictorial vision um, before you start on a piece of A4 piece of paper. Um, so this is it. So we've got our outer left yellow line. We've got our outer right hand yellow line. Okay, And the vehicle will be in the start position roughly about here. It will already be there before you start. And then we've got some cones to think about. So we've got our lonely B cone, the cone on its own. We've got our top two A cones, A and A1. And then we've got our garage, which is where we're aiming for. So the object of the game, we're going to be driving up on the right hand side of the B cone, up to the two A cones. We're then going to stop, handbrake on and relax. We're then going to bring our vehicle down on the left hand side of the B cone, bringing it into that garage. Okay. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit challenging. Don't think about it as getting the vehicle from here and putting it here. That's far too much to think about. Let's break it down into stages and do one stage at a time. So first of all, from that start position, that examiner is going to tell you to drive up to the A cones and park in between them. No, we're not going to park in between them, okay? We need to be over to that left-hand side. This is going to help so much when we start to go backwards, okay? But do not park in between them. So as we drive forward here, we're going to use that curbside mirror, the little one hanging off the uh, door there, and that's going to help us get nice and close to that B cone. And then we can keep that nice chiseled position over to that left-hand side. Once we get up to, without passing through the A cones, we're going to stop handbrake on, relax. Now, when you want the trailer to go left, you're going to steer right. When you want the trailer to go right, you're going to steer left. This is what we call opposite steering, okay, when we've got a, a trailer on the back of our vehicle. So you want the trailer to go left, that first initial turn is going to be a right-hand lock, okay. So as we turn right, that's going to cause the tractor unit to bend, which is then going to cause this, okay. 
As the tractor unit then comes over towards the yellow line, we're then gonna straighten up. And now you can see why that positioning is so critical, because we can see now, if we were a little bit too far over to that right-hand side, if we steer over to the right, we're gonna go over the line straight away. So that's why it's so crucial to be over to the left, but without passing that imaginary line, okay? So as we start to head round, we're gonna keep our vehicle nice and parallel, okay? When we talk about parallel, we mean that tractor unit is absolutely identical to that yellow line. As we keep pushing back like this, that trailer is gonna keep bending, okay? And as we look in that left-hand mirror, the back corner of this trailer will cause this far left-hand cone to disappear. As soon as it does that, we're then gonna steer left into the trailer, okay? That's then gonna cause that tractor unit to go from here and start to bend round, so it will then look like that, okay? And that's just gonna then cause that angle to drive into that bay, okay? As we're heading back now, nice small movements, okay? Nice small movements. Now we're doing a blind side reverse here, so as we head back now, you're not gonna see too much on that left-hand mirror, so we've got to trust in that right-hand mirror, okay? So as we're going back, let's imagine that trailer is, for instance, extremely close to this cone here, where you know you've got quite a far amount of room from that left-hand side. But if your trailer is a lot further over to the left, for instance, here, now you know, because this gap here from this cone to the back of your trailer is extremely big, you're probably gonna be a little bit close on the left-hand side. So in that case, take the shunt. Remember, you've got two shunts, okay? That shunt meaning we can pull forward. At any point during this exercise, we can do that, okay? So take your time, just pull it forward in a straight line, and then a straight line back. There's nothing wrong with that shunt, and please don't, don't feel like that examiner's gonna look at you even harder out on the drive because you've taken a shunt. It doesn't work like that. If you're ever feeling things are going a little bit wrong or a little bit, you know, not the way you've planned, take the shunt. Don't be a hero, okay? So now we've taken our vehicle, let's imagine, forward, and now we're in a nice straight line. Now we're using this technique here. So just keeping it in a straight line. Remember, if there's more trailer in the left mirror, a little bit of left. If there's more trailer in the right mirror, a little bit of right, okay? For this little procedure back here, small angles for a longer period, okay? So if we're heading back like this, and maybe we're just getting a little bit close to the, the cone, what we don't wanna see is a massive angle on that fifth wheel. No, absolutely not. Small angles, okay, small angles. Remember, you can steer any way you want with this exercise. So we do wanna see that palming because it's so crucial that we do a slow speed, slow wheel speed, but quick steering. That long drawn out steering does not work with this exercise, okay? So take your time, nice and slow, but quick reactions on that steering wheel, okay? As we're heading into the bay now, nice and slow, nice and steady, watching for our marker, take your time, okay? So, now we've thought about that practical uh, side of it, let's actually go outside and put this down and show you how this is gonna work. So now let's move on and do this practically. So here we are on our square, the vehicle is in its start position. This will already be there um, at the start of your test. You won't have to put it there, it will already be there. So here we can see what we've got to play with. So we've got our outer yellow line, our right hand line. Then we've got our left outer yellow line. We've got our lonely B cone up in the distance there and our top two A cones up in the far, far distance there. So as we know, we're traveling up on the right-hand side of the B cone, up to the two A cones, handbrake on, uh, patience and relax. Then we're gonna come down on the left-hand side of the B cone, bringing our vehicle into our garage, okay? Here we can see our garage. Making sure, obviously, we don't cross any lines and we don't hit any cones. So as we come back into the garage now, we're making sure the most extreme rear of the vehicle will pass the black line. And obviously, we're not gonna hit this barrier marked here. And we'll use, use our guides to help us get that done. So now we're inside the cab, let's do this uh, reversing exercise and just show you the little hints and tips that we're gonna use. So the first thing, obviously, put the vehicle into gear, left mirror, right mirror, blind spot, handbrake off and away we go. So nice and slow and steady as we progress forward here, getting nice and close to that B cone. We're gonna use our curbside mirror and our proximity mirror to aid us in to do this. There's no guessing involved here, we can use our mirrors to do that. So nice and slow, nice and steady, getting nice and close to it. Then a nice, slow, steady pace forward, keeping it nice and straight. Again, we've already done that hard work, so there shouldn't really be any steering involved here, because you've already got nice and close to that B cone, 
so there shouldn't really be any need for much steering. It's just really chiseling. Now, as we get up to the two A cones, again, nice and slow, nice and steady, and using our proxy mirror and our curbside mirror. Once we're there, handbrake on, into neutral, relax. Then we're gonna put the vehicle into reverse, and remember, no dry steering. So as the handbrake comes off, nice and slow with that steering. So left mirror, right mirror, big blind spot, handbrake off, and away we go. So a big extension turn onto that right hand side, bring ourselves nicely over to the yellow line, keeping that nice distance away. Once we get there, keeping it parallel. So I'm getting to that point there, now I'm keeping that vehicle parallel. This is so important, so important. Don't worry too much about what the trailer's doing at this point. It's all about keeping that vehicle parallel, okay? Now, as we're keeping it lovely and parallel, we can have a little look, make sure we're good. And now I'm waiting for that trailer to make that left-hand garage cone disappear. Again, both mirrors at all time, keeping it nice and straight, making sure I'm still parallel and I'm not drifting left to right. As that cone disappears, I'll now start that left-hand turn into the trailer. I'm gonna keep working those mirrors and keep that speed nice and slow. It's at this point here, we see our B cone for the very first time. Leaving that angle on very slightly, just to bring ourselves into the garage. Remember, keep that speed nice and slow, nice and steady. Both mirrors at all times. A little straighten up now, because I'm looking quite true into the garage now, so it's looking quite promising. As we pass the Beco on the right now. Now we use our yellow line on the left, because we know the yellow line is straight. So as long as we get the trailer straight to that yellow line, we'll know we'll be nice and straight in the bay. So keeping it nice and slow, nice and steady as we keep going backwards. Watching for my marker, nice and steady. Get that marker lined up nice and slow, and then a nice gentle halt. There we are. Handbrake, neutral, engine off, and then we'll step out of the vehicle and make sure we're okay. So let's go and check and see if we're okay. So opening the door fully and three points of contact when we get in and out of the vehicle. Making sure we close the door and then we'll go and have a look and see if we're okay. So we're just making sure that the rear of the vehicle, the most extreme rear of the vehicle, has passed the black line and we haven't hit the barrier. So here we can see the most extreme rear has passed the black line. If we did see that we were maybe a little bit short, we could jump back in the vehicle and come back a little bit more, but now we can't get out again. So we can remember, we can pull forward twice, we can get out and have a look once, okay? Remember, you've got your two shunts, so take it nice and slow, nice and steady. Hope this video has been a bit of help to you, gets rid of any of them test day nerves. Remember, take your time and you can always go forwards twice. That's it, it's very important here. You know, take your time, it's not a race. There's no rush when you do this reverse. Uh, the key thing is taking it slow um, and really, you know, do take your time with this one. Um, if this video has been some help to you, please hit the thumbs up, please hit the like uh, and subscribe. And if this video has helped, please have a look at some of our other videos, um, which we'll list down in the description. Thank you very much.